Hi everybody! This video is going to be about this device but firstly I have to explain my setup and why I, and what this device do and basically what it's used for. So here's the package in which I received the the device I don't know what the sticker says, but there, I'm showing it to you. All right, my center, my setup is a Nintendo Switch, a dock, docking station. This is not the official one, but it works. This is an M Classic, right now in pass-through pass -through mode, just as if I had plugged a, a, the HDMI, uh, only an HDMI and my monitor. This monitor is a 1440p with more pixels on the side. So it makes for a greater um, display than 1440p. This is somewhat of an ultra wide with a 21 by nine aspect ratio instead of a, a typical 16 by 9 find on most displays and consoles resolution whatever whatever ratio the switch is currently working and outputting a video of 1080p 60 hertz So this is a very specific configuration about the M Classic. And uh, because I don't see a lot of videos about it, talking about it, to force 1440p, I wanted to, to make one. But a lot of people who already has an M Classic and a 4K TV, as for example, already knows this trick. So it's well known by now. I just want to show you the game. And here you can see that it's sharp. And we can see all the pixels. We can also see the UI, the textures are pretty sharp. Degree Celsius is is very visible, readable. This is done into the game because the UI is 720p. Understandably, the resolution of the Nintendo Switch because whenever you unplug your Nintendo Switch from the dock, the exact same image is displayed way easier, easily onto the 720p display of the Nintendo Switch. So this is the configuration in which most people are, is going to play with the Nintendo Switch docked in order to appreciate a higher resolution than what the Nintendo Switch display is capable of. But the game, as maybe you don't know, is only running at 900p. So there is a Nintendo internal scaler which outputs the video signal in 1080p. So this is my monitor and it says what it receive, receives from the dock. All right, it's a bit harsh and I don't like playing in this configuration. Because it's 900p, I much prefer 
going back to 900p. So in order to do that, you have to put it in 83%, which corresponds to a video uh, 900p um, window ratio. Is it way better? Not really, but it's more pleasant and I prefer playing like this. Even though it seems less readable, less visible, it's more pleasant to the eye. All right. What we can understand is that it's not a perfect pixel match because the internal scaler of Nintendo is still working. Whatever, it's not as good as it could be. We cannot deactivate it. But as you can see, it's quite goofy on a big display as mine. And especially if you have a 4K TV. So we still want to upscale it more. And here is why we buy the M Classic in order to get a proper and better video signal. Because it can upscale the image, the video output, the image. It can um, smoothen the, uh, the image with in some type of AA, anti-aliasing. And it makes the color pop a bit more. I believe it's only compatible in RGB. Uh, I believe the M Classic only supports RGB colors. Because full range colors, I can see there is some problems. So I'm saying it right away, not a lot of people knows about it, but I believe and what I from what I can see the M Classics the M Classic supports RGB colors very well. Not full range. So I want to upscale my video output. In order to take more space on my display but as you can see nothing has changed the video I receive the signal I receive is still 1080 right now we maybe cannot see it very good But the M Classic is working. So it, it doesn't show up very well onto my phone. But it still makes for a pleasant experience. But it, it hasn't upscaled the video. So in order to see if the M Classic and, uh, and uh, anti-aliasing is working, I can go into my uh, switch setting and uh, uh, put back into full 100% resolution and see onto on the shield M classing on M classic off and if you don't have the M classic and you only put 
to 83%. The resolution, whatever, the scale. If you don't have an M Classic, the video output is already very pleasing. And I'm and I am activating the M Classic back again. All right. Here is where this device came. Um, uh, here is why I bought this device. It's a way to force the M Classic to to do to to upscale it to 1440p, basically 2K resolution as it says on it. Why the M-Classic doesn't understand it can output a 1440p signal to my monitor, it's very, it's, uh, uh, very e easy to explain. My mon monitor has a higher resolution than 1440p. And a lot of TVs and some display displays don't support, they don't, they don't support 1440p signal but all of them most of them will support 1080 that's why the M Classic do 1080p output and no upscale with the resolution when the resolution of your display is higher than 1440p say yeah. as an example my 3440 by 1440 or a 4K display which will be greater than 1440p. So we can force the 1440p output of the M Classic by putting my this adaptator pass through at the end of the M Classic. And because this is a pass through, it should not add any latency. The sig the, uh, this device only talks via the HDMI to the M Classic to say the device that is plugged into the M Classic is a 1440p device. This uh, the M Classic understand the communication and outputs a 1440p signal, which we can see right now. It almost takes the whole, my whole display. The problem right now is it's very crappy. Where previously it was very good, very enjoyable. Right now, it's somewhat too smooth uh, and too blurry, I would say. It's maybe like ha uh, having bad glasses on, even though I don't have any glasses, uh, I don't use glasses, so I don't know what it feels, but it's too blurry. So, in order to get uh, more detail a more detail image and to get uh, yes uh, uh, details back more detail we have to go into parameters and this time put it at hundred percent scale which gives a better result and right now as you can see it's a true upscale and we can see it into my monitor settings 
a 1440p signal. Come on, get out. So it makes for the best experience we can on the official hardware. It's kind of good, but I wish we could have better. The, the rest, there isn't any more detail, it's only an upscale image, so the game has not a different render, it's the same render, but somewhat more enjoyable. Texts are kind of weird, as you can see, but it allows for a further experience, which is very good in my opinion. All right, so I believe I explained everything. Also, the EM Classic don't output a 4K uh, upscale of 60 Hertz signal, uh, but only uh, the EM Classic can do 4K 30. But I believe I already said it. So here's what I bought. No, not this one. It's another one. Here's what I bought. You can find that in Europe. Uh, in France, Europe. This one is in Spain. Onto Amazon. Amazon. And this one is in the US so you can find many of them in uh, for many resolution resolution it, it, it's kind of hard to find but they do exist all right as you can see you can choose whatever resolution you want and these are called EDID pass through so they should not add any latency to your video I hope you understood everything and uh, see you in the next one bye